Hello children, how are you all? I hope you are fine and safe. I am Dakshayani, handling biology from Bardasnar Metric Higher Secondary School, Arakonam. Children, today we are going to study 11th standard zoology. What is the name of the first chapter children? Living world. In this chapter we are studying about the what are all the species present around us and who are all worked hard for the classification of the organisms and in this session we are going to discuss about the hierarchy of classification. So hierarchy, hierarchy means levels. What do you mean by hierarchy children? Hierarchy refers to levels. There are various levels of classification and five important levels is kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus and species. While writing, while classifying any organisms, we should not change this order. So, I will say you a small trick to keep in mind, PCO for girls, P C O for girls. So, it comes in the order, phylum, class, order, family, genus and species. So, these are all the main levels of classification and there are some in between classifications also. First below the kingdom we can uh, in between kingdom and phylum there is a grade division and subdivision grade division and subdivision and below the phylum subphylum sub phylum and above the class super class super class and below the class sub class above the order super order super order and below the order sub order Family similarly, above the family, super family. Below the family, sub family. Genus, species and below the species, sub species. So, these are all the various levels of classification children. So, what are all the main seven levels? Kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus and species. These were the main categories of classification and in between there are some order. From this they may ask a neat question children. They will place in the order kingdom, phylum, class, order, family and identify which of the order is correct, which of the hierarchy is correct. Likewise they will be asking some of the questions in your need. So hierarchy of classification. And now which is the lowest first we are going to study about the species right species are the basic unit of classification species they are the basic unit of classification and species are may mainly based on their similarities closely relationship between the organisms can be noted down in the species so it is a group of animals having similar morphological features Right, for example, uh, some organisms may have the closely resembled characters. They are classified under the same species and it is reproductively isolated. Since they are very closely related to each other, they are separated to produce the fertile offspring. But in there are some exceptions also. So, now let us see the exceptions. So, some suppose some organisms whether a reproduction between the closely related species may result in sterile. What do you mean by sterile children? The organism cannot reproduce and now we are going to see some of the sterile organisms. First one is when the male donkey is paired with the female horse, the organism formed is a mule. Right, we say covericarda in Tamil. So, mule and male horse with the female donkey forms a hini. Right. So, these two organisms are sterile. 
So, what are the examples of the sterile organism children? Mule and hini. And let us see some of the other sterile organisms. Male lion plus female tiger. From this, we get liger. And male tiger plus female lion, tiger. It is very easy to keep in mind children. Male liger, L, G, E, R. Male name comes first. So, L, G, E, R, liger. And here, male, male name comes first. So, T, I and T, I, G. Here, female name, O, N, tiger. So, all these are the sterile organisms. So, what are all the sterile organisms we studied children? Mule, hini, tiger and the liger, right. And now, next to the species, which is the higher level of classification, genus, right. And now, we are going to study about the genus and the genus is a group of closely related species, two or more species combined together to form a genus and genus is of two types one is a monotypic and another one is a polytypic what do you mean by monotypic if there is only one species in that genus it is said to be monotypic the example is allures fulgens okay it is a red panda children it is a red panda there is only one species in this genus. No other pandas are not included. Only red panda in this genus. Aelurus fulgens. So, write down the scientific name. In this chapter, we are going to study about many scientific names, children. So, note down the common name as well as the scientific name. So, what is the scientific name of red panda? Aelurus fulgens. So, this is the genus name and this is the species name. So, only one species is included in this genus. So, it is said to be monotypic. So, what is the next thing children? Polytypic. So, we are going to see about the polytypic. If there are more species in a particular genus, it is said to be polytypic. And now, we are going to see the example. Just look at this children. Felis domestica. Right? Felis Margarita and Felis Silvestris, right? They all belong to the cat family, right? Same genus Felis, but they have different species. We can see, you see, Felis is a genus name. Domestica is the species name. So, all these three cats have the same genus Felis, Felis. And now we can see the common name for Felis domestica. Felis domestica is a domestic cat which we uh, grow as a pet, right? So, it is a domestic cat and it can be grown as a pet, right? And Felis margarita, jungle cat. Jungle cat, Katapune we say, right? So, jungle cat comes under, what is the scientific name? Felis margarita. And Felis Silvestris is a wild cat. It's a wild cat which live in the mountains, near the mountains, right? So, if there are two or more species in a particular genus, we say this as a polytypic genus. So, what is what are the three examples, children? Felis domestica, Felis margarita, and Felis Silvestris. Note, take a notebook, write down the common name as well as the scientific name of all the organisms we are studying throughout this lesson. And now we are going to study about the family, right? Two or more genus combined together to form a genus, right? And now we are going to see the family Felidae, right? So, you see children, two genus, one is a Felis. Felis, we told Felis is a cat family and Panthera is a lion family. Panthera is a lion family. So, they, these two genus comes under the same family Felidae, right? So, see cats are there and as well as Panthera tigris, Panthera leo, right? So, the genus Felis and the genus Panthera comes under the same family Felidae, right? So, what is a family children? It is a group of 
related genera two or more what genera refers to the genus two or more genus combined to form the family and next level in the hierarchy of classification is order what is the order two or more families combined together to form a order and now we are going to see the order so order for example children we studied about the felidae right family felidae comes under the uh, panthe everything comes under this order along with some other orders right for example felidae and along with some other families it comes under and canidae canidae is a dog family so felidae is a cat family and canidae is a dog family and they both come under the same order that is carnivora what is carnivora the flesh eating organisms are classified under the carnivora so order carnivora so two or it is a assemblage of one or more related families so two or more families combine together to form the order so dog family and cat family join together to form carnivora so just look at just look at this picture children all this canis 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 refers to dog family wolf dog everything comes under this and cat family panthera everything come under the same order carnivora carnivora is a flesh eating orders right flesh eating organisms comes under the order carnivora and next we are going to study about the class so more order combined together to form a class for example we studied about the order carnivora order carnivora along with some other order such as carnivora flesh eating right insectivora all insect marsupialia marsupialia with a long tail gangaru comes under the marsupialia and primates monkey we also are included in the order primates so all these orders combine to form a single family that is mammalia the organisms with the mammary glands are classified under the mammalia so two or more orders combine together to form a class and next we are going to study about the phylum all classes come uh, or combine together to form a phylum two or more classes form a phylum and now we are going to see the example phylum chordata what is a chordata children the organisms with the vertebral column with the backbone the organisms with the backbone are placed under the phylum chordata for example phylum chordata involves class species species all the fishes comes under the fishes right fishes all fishes and next birds all the birds comes under the class aves and all the reptiles snake uh, lizards everything comes under the class reptilia reptilia and all the amphibians frog comes under the amphibia comes under amphibia class amphibia and all the mammals comes under the class mammalia so what are all the classes children class species aves reptilia amphibia and mammalia comes under the single phylum that is chordata chordata is the organisms with the backbone non chordates are there without backbone invertebrates right and we are going to study the highest level in the classification that is a kingdom many phylums come under the same kingdom and now we are going to study what are all the phylums included in animal kingdom so for example phylum porifera right sponges phylum nidaria that is sea anemone tenophora comb jellies platyelminthes flat worms tape worms annelida earthworms comes under the phylum annelida 
mollusca all soft bodied animals comes under mollusca arthropoda all insects comes under arthropoda nematoda or with the organisms with the stinging cells we call it as nematoda chordata with the vertebral column and echinodermata starfish they all come under the all these phylums there are 11 phylums all these phylums comes under the single kingdom that is the kingdom animalia kingdom animalia right so we studied about the hierarchy of classification species genus class order family kingdom and phylum and kingdom and now we can classify the human being we are going to write the systematic classification of the human being just look at your book children and take it now take it down first kingdom phylum class order family genus and species right kingdom we human beings are included in the kingdom animalia kingdom animalia and we are included in the phylum chordata since we have the backbone we come under the phylum chordata and class since we human beings possess the mammary glands we come under the class mammalia mammalia order right since we have the grasping fingers and the forward looking eyes we come under the order primata order primata family hominidae since we human beings possess a binocular vision we comes under the family hominidae and genus homo genus homo with the large brains right large brains and the upright posture we come under the genus homo and species sapiens right with the higher intelligence the organisms with the higher intelligence are classified under the species sapiens so this is the systematic classification of human being children so uh, when you uh, grow when you study about the classification when you become a scientist you should know all these levels and if you find any new organism you should know how to classify it and how to do the systematics for it right so this is important question children write the systematics of the human being so from this i will ask you some question just listen pujita just answer my question yes what is the scientific name of human being yes very good clap your hands for her what is the answer homo sapiens yes very good children and so with this the hierarchy of classification is over right children so what are all the things we studied kingdom phylum class order family genus and species okay children with this topic the session today comes to an end with this we have attached the study material question bank and the assessment for this lesson go through it and make sure how far you understood the topic thank you children have a nice day I am Sandhya from Plus 2. We are participating in state level beach volleyball competition. Hell that to the goodies.